just like children these days who are growing up uh, playing video games and uh, interacting with social media uh, during most of their waking hours and then when you start talking to them you realize that their communication skills and their social interaction skills are uh, next to none, non-existent. Uh, like a little kid that uh, has a speech problem. Have you ever noticed that? I notice it all the time because these kids today are out of practice in terms of being able to communicate with uh, normal you know, people having a normal conversation because the majority of their waking hours they're interacting with social media, they're typing meaningless stuff and uh, they are uh, playing video games with someone halfway around, you know, around the world. And what is the end result of that? Insufficient and non-existent communication skills, and they get used to that. And this is the same with women who uh, have become antisocial because it's easier to be with a cat or a dog where, uh, you know, they never disagree with them, you know. Uh, they never have to learn communication skills. They never have to learn um, interacting with members of the opposite sex. So they take the easy way out. You know, like someone who cannot get a job and uh, goes into, you know, some kind of easy government uh, work and uh, because they don't have to learn any, any special skills or anything. These uh, women are the same. They take in the, they're taking the easy way out. You know, instead of uh, dealing with, a, a, you know, a man going through the normal motions of, of learning how to communicate and compromise and, uh, you know, conduct a normal relationship. Instead, they take the easy way out and get a cat or a dog where, you know, whatever you tell them, as long as you feed them, they are uh, in 100% agreement with them all the time, every day until they die. And these women, when you start talking to them, when you, uh, you know, they complain, they go on dates and, uh, you know, they force themselves, they go on dates because they know that what they're doing, living with an animal is abnormal and their physical and emotional needs are not being met. So they go on dates and uh, quickly they find an excuse to uh, write off people. Oh no, he wasn't good. He didn't meet my standards. You know, he was this, he was that. You know, they come with thousand and one excuses why uh, the guys are uh, terrible and uh, not qualified because it's easier to go home back to their dog and cat and curl up next to an animal and watch uh, some meaningless movie on TV because it's the easy way out because they don't have to compromise. They don't have to make any effort. They don't have to make any uh, agreements, any discussions, any, any kind of, a, of an intellectual interaction. They just talk to a cat, a dog, which is in 100% agreement with them all the time, every day, day in and day out until the pet dies or they die. Same as the little kid who's playing on a computer because it's easier to uh, play a game or, or you know, watch meaningless, uh, scroll meaningless things on TikTok or social media or something else rather than communicating with uh, other people, talking to them. So what do you do? You know, uh, how many kids do you have? What are your aspirations in life? What area, what industry do you work in? You know, how do you like that? You know, uh, what's, your, uh, what's your purpose in life? What do you want to do in life? What countries have, have you seen? What languages do you speak? You know, how do you interact with your family? All that other stuff, they don't want to do that. They'd rather go and, and curl up next to a pet uh, and, and watch Netflix or some other meaningless movie until they pass out and then the nights go by, the weeks go by, and the months go by, and the years go by until no man wants to go out with them anymore because uh, not only they're, uh, they don't have any kind of a communication uh, or inter, you know, interaction uh, with, uh, with other people's skills, but they're also now uh, forgotten to take care of themselves and make themselves attractive and appealing to the, to the member of, of the opposite sex. They've either gained weight or they don't know how to dress right. They don't know how to, how to make themselves presentable. And they are uh, just a, an, an unpleasant uh, being that nobody wants to be around. And they complain, where have all the good men gone?
I have just described to you not a, a, a fringe of the society, a very large portion of society, of these lonely people whose only friends are other miserable people like themselves or Netflix, movies, pet, and the bottle. All the best.